guys, Mr. G back with you here for some Darkest Dungeons. It's Thailand here. It's uh, nighttime. It's like 100 degrees at night and 100% humidity. It's super hot. Mrs. G is out on a class trip. Baby G and little G are sleeping and I can't go to bed. So you know what? I thought, hey, why not? Let's finish off our last easy boss. The Siren. Um... I did, uh, I've shown everyone so far, I missed the Brigand 8-pounder because my microphone uh, just decided to die in that one, and it was awful, I wasn't going to make you guys watch it. The quality was not good, so I probably should be in bed, but you know what, we're going to see what we can do. We're going into this one blind, uh, I did have some tips to get folks that can move around a little bit. I'd like to grab Jeff for that, but he does not have, he's pretty stressed out. You know what? Let's just throw him in there anyway. Uh, let's throw an MC on this one. Let's go bounty high. I know he's stressed too. Uh, Mrs. G's doing fine. She's not stressed out. And who could we take on this one that's not going to throw a fit? Well, we need a healer. So I guess Fred. B Town can't make it. That's you. But well, you know what? We're going to start with our Jester in the front this time. So let's. Go back to town here and see if we need to go sort anybody out with some stress. All right. Looks like Bossy Pants 2.0 could use a little bit of chilling out. Everybody else, meh, they're okay. Anything amazing in the Nomad Wagon? Not really. Um, haven't really been hitting up the Heroes Trinkets or... Uh, uh, the backer trinkets, I mean, or the backer heroes a whole lot yet. Use a couple. Um, just kind of really trying to grow into this blind and then let you guys correct me afterwards. So you know what? We're just gonna, we're going to go into this one. We're probably going to screw it up. Just going to take a look. Okay, so i got a Jester trinket here. What do I have on him now? I've got this Kickstarter one for speed. Which I like, because he goes first, and then we do that finale move, which is just really nice. But let's get rid of the dice here and throw down this very rare, so... Kills his virtue chance, but you know what? It might keep him alive a little longer. And since Jeff is one of my favorites... How do I remove this? Just Alright, can I replace that? Okay. There we go. And I've got a focus ring. Alright. So plus 12... Da, da, da. This ACC, that's accuracy, right? It's terrible that I don't know that. And then minus a bunch of dodge. Mm. Who would give that one to? Somebody let me know. I am really terrible with uh, matching my trinkets well with my guys. And as you can see, I've got so many, so many terrible quirks on a lot of my guys. Because I really didn't know how to use Curios. Eh, did that poorly. But you know what? We're not really thinking this one out. It's late. Uh, I'm not going to say if Mr. G has or has not had any adult beverages tonight. Um, so we're going into this one. Um, it's a medium one. You know what? Listen to everybody on the Reddit and on the comments. We're going to throw in a little bit more food. No, I didn't have enough shovels last time. I was short a key last time. Everybody was like, bring holy water for this boss. So you know what? We're going to bring holy water. Yeah, throw in some bandages. I think somebody said bring the magic y, medicine y stuff, so why not? Alright, let's do this. Off we go. My lofty position, My lofty position wasn't, wasn't always accompanied, accompanied by the fear of office. office. And there, there was, was a time, time when I could walk the streets street or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for okay. molestation. Great vocabulary words in here, guys. The tide when precocious. precocious. Made it her I know. I throw down the word precocious errand. all the time. I'm it writing report cards man. right now. So, those of you that are my students later. and that are watching, when I say precocious, I really just mean uh, you're being really loud <laughs> and you interrupt a lot. But I was a kid wave. once too, and I know. Uh, how parents are getting a report card so I like to word things as nice as possible so you guys can thank me for that I let them read the report cards too so they know what's coming before it goes home so if they want to change or talk to me about anything well they can just do that 
Because we were all kids once, right, guys? Nobody wants to send mom and dad home a report card and you're like, I didn't know the teacher wrote that about me. Uh, but to be fair, all of my students are pretty awesome, so... Using the word precocious is about... About as rough as Mr. G has to get, so... That's not too shabby. Alright, so we got an empty room. I've been rambling. Uh, if you want to, you want to hear more rambling from Mr. G, please let me know in the comments. It would appear that I just wandered by a secret door, and we just so happened to actually bring a key. So, whoopsie dipsy. I don't know if I missed that or scouting showed us the door. Okay, here we are. And we don't actually need the key for the door. I'm learning. We need the key to unlock the ancient art. Of what do we got? Puzzling a trapezohedron. Um, those of you that are students, that's actually not a real shape. Just so you know, trapezoid is a its own shape, and there's all kinds of polyhedrons. As far as I know, trapezoid hedron is not one of them. So if I screw that up, please do correct me in the comments. And onward we go blindly into the siren. All we know is take some holy water. And, uh, oh my goodness, how do we deal with those curios? I don't even know. We're gonna ignore that one. Just trudge them. Okay, we got some fish dudes here, so our bleed isn't gonna work super great. But we can do 18 to 29 with the old jester, so let's take out one of these big bad boys right off the bat. And I love this guy. Even if that's all he did every battle, let's take out one guy instantly. I mean, the jester's not your favorite character or close to it. Because I know MC, you like, you like the bounty hunter, and I'm learning with Mark, when you're fighting a boss, he's got the staying power. You know, you mark a guy and you just keep hammering him, so I feel you there. Uh, I'm getting better at this game, albeit slowly. Alright, Mrs. G. So let's see what we can There we go. Mission is broken. Maintain the offensive. Alright, I'm being impetuous on this one, guys. If you're one of my students, that means I'm making quick decisions and probably not putting enough thought into things. But you know what? We're going to do that anyway. Uh, as you guys have all noticed, all of my guys are way too stressed out. So that's my own fault, but we're just doing it anyway. For the sake of... I didn't want to get on and play Darkest Dungeons and not do a, do a YouTube video of it. And uh, I didn't want to just do like a, a baby dungeon. I wanted to hit up this boss and... Well, these are the guys that were ready, so you know what? We just said, pony up, you're going in. And onwards, we go. Good job, MC, there you go. So now all we have left is this magic-y little fish healer, and maybe we can just do a little bit of stalling. Nope, we killed him. Fred, normally I would say good job, but I actually just really wanted you to chill out for a minute. And I could de-stress with the Jester, but he killed him, so what are you going to do? And I'm going to actually notice the trap this time. Alright. Uh, as I need to remember, put my party order back so the old Jester can do his thing. Haven't forgot to do that yet, but I'm sure it is only a matter of time. Fortunately, he does have the solo that brings him back to the front. If that's the wrong one, maybe it's another one that brings him to the front. So, one, two, three more rooms to go. Sometimes I find with the boss fight, I mean, we almost don't even need to camp because you, you know right where the boss is, which is nice. Although there's a part of me that thinks, you know, it would be a little bit trickier if they didn't tell you where the boss was. But I think we can all agree there's enough things about Darkest Dungeons that are hard without adding that one to it, right? Oh, we got straight up four of these fish dudes. I don't know where these guys go to the gym, but, uh, oh, I click on them and the sword whips out. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But these guys are ripped. Well, let's see if we can take one of them out. Looks like it really doesn't matter. Let's take somebody out in the third row. Why not? Obliterated. Since not all our guys can do that. And no, nope, look, looks like he's, to be fair, that looks like a cooked sea bass right there. Very popular in Thailand. Not Jeff. Don't hit Jeff for 11 points of damage, you big stinker. Oh, my goodness. 
Not cool, guys. Not cool. Throw some bleed on you, you big... There you go. Oh, right. Fish guys don't really take as much bleed. But we did it anyway. You know what? We're going to finish it off, so bleed was kind of a waste there, wasn't it? Because we just killed them off. All right, Jeff, you guys know, one of my favorites. Keep him alive. He's not even a Jeff Jr. He is an original Jeff. MC, no offense, you're original guy. He died. Um, I did my best, but, you know, what are you going to do? He did do. He did die. Um, let's actually remember to do some stress heal. Fred here has a very low tolerance for stress, so let's get you healed up, Fred. And then you know what? I need to spend some money at the Hamlets upgrading the sanitarium because it is way, way too expensive to remove diseases from these guys. That's Good somebody. job, Mrs. G. You just ruined that guy's day. Okay, um... Should we space tentacles? We really don't need to heal anybody, right? Oh, why not? Eh, space tentacles it is. Well, they really should just call this guy, I know I've said it before, like Dr. Octo or like Octopus Guy, because apparently everything that involves the occult involves tentacles. Maybe he's Japanese, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's de-stress. See, Jester, you're the best. Um, you know what, Jeff? Chill yourself out there, buddy. Good job. Okay. Man, I should be asleep right now. Baby G wakes up at 5 a.m. most of the time. Although, lately, she's been doing the 6 a.m., which has been awesome. So, big appreciation for that, Baby G. Keep it up. Alright, so MC, you took some damage on that one. I'm sorry, I don't have enough room to carry the key. Well, I need the key, guys. Uh, well, we could just feed MC a bunch of food here. Bum, 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 bum. Let me take the key. Slap the old key in the old heirloom chest. Oh, I'm finally, I'm getting better, guys. Finding I'm using items to interact with curios. Hey, now it must holy be water. Home. You guys were like, get the holy water. Um, hopefully whatever buffs come from holy water. Two battles in a row? For serious, as my grade fives would say. Okay. Well, we're going in. Oh, good thing that's booty. Loading up on keys on this one. Mmm, what can I ditch to get the key? And not really don't want to ditch any of this, so you know what? Eh. Alright, 250, 250, we could get some better loot, maybe. Ditching 500 there. Ooh, we gotta get... Oh, I forgot to get party order back. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Jester, do you gotta go first? Well... Let's debuff these guys. Slap you back to the front. Alright, bounty hunter. Do your thing. Do a little bit of that. As the wind oh, falls, a faint hope and blossoms. A little bit of this. No, that's actually not what I meant to do, but. Oops. Okay, alright. Alright. Whackity whack. Oh my goodness. Got it here. Um. Yes. We need to take out this dude. Goodbye. 43. That is ridiculous. How come you can never do that, Jeff, when I'm fighting a boss? Do the old hackety hack. Take out. It does not look like a sea maggot. It looks like a snail. You know what? Who am I to argue right now? It's late. Sea maggot, then so be it. Anybody really need healed? Meh. I guess I'm okay. Okay. Uh, we can finish this guy with a dirk stab, eh? Uh, you know what? No, we're not. We're gonna be smarter. MC here is not doing great on the old stress. I'm gonna go into a boss fight and then someone's gonna get an affliction. And it's gonna be bad news bears. Look, he's stressing out right now. But you know what? Um, at least we'll get it on the old YouTube so you guys can watch how not to do it. And look at all this junk. 
push on I need to, to find space for it. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do I get rid of? <sighs> Alright, I want those crests. Alright, we're ditching the key. Let's ditch the key. Take the crests. Yeah, I want to keep that for the boss fight. Alright, if we use this torch, we can grab... Alright, boom. We're going to call that good. Put you guys back in order here. Seriously, another boss fight. Well, let's throw down another torch. And let's do this. Okay, some brigands. Okay, dun, dun, dun. 12, 12, 12. All of you guys, 12, seriously? Alright, let's hit the third row guy. Since not everyone can do that. Let's just do your... No. Standard chop here, why not? 7 to 14, well maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. I'll take it though. 8 is a heck of a lot better than a miss. Alright, let's uh... Let's heal Jeff, you know? Heal yourself. I mean, by Jeff I mean Fred. Fred, there you go. Looking out for number 1. On that one. Okay. The double stabby, these two. Alright, let's just deal with you. You guys really aren't tough enough to, to mark anybody, right? Okay, we need to de-stress our hero. We could just kind of milk this fight for a little longer. Can I keep everybody going? Let's just kind of spread out some damage here. Uh-oh. Oh, he misses. This is good news for us. Hopefully, when I hit up the camp, we can deal with some of this stress stuff going on. Right, let's throw down a heal here. Five, Fred, not impressed, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. Alright, we've just got this guy left in the back row here. Really, nobody can even hit him, but let's, let's de stress you, MC. Alright. And let's throw down on the old corpse chopping, because you know, in the middle of a battle, most people stop and, and spend time chopping up corpses. Okay. I'm not being fair because. As a gameplay mechanic, it works. I like it. Although, Remind yeah, it's a little bit gimmicky, but hey, we gotta play games, and, and sometimes killer. for gaming's sake, you just need you just need a game to work, right? Oh, you know what? Let's. I need money. Let's just bank on that. There's not gonna be any shovels later. All right. Here's hoping I don't run into a barrier like just now. Two rooms to clear. We'll see how we do. And then Mr. G is definitely off to bed. One of my students was like, Oh, Mr. G, I was watching your Paladins one. You need to be more enthusiastic. I'm like, I use up all my enthusiasm with you guys at work. What are you talking about? So those of you on the channel, you just get chilled out, relaxed, ranting, soapboxy Mr. G. Uh, oh, alright, some food. I read on Radiant Mode they removed, like, random hunger checks. That must have been a royal pain if you were just doing fine in your campaign going along and then it's like, oh, you need food, and you're like, uh, I just started. Or I'm way into the game and I have zero food left. Alright, folks, here we are. We are just about to the old bossy pants. And I'm not referring to the nickname of, uh, a moment some of my heroes. I'm referring to the actual boss. Let's see what, what we can do here. The coming horrors. Okay, so, um, all right, let's do the old not get attacked at nighttime thing, all right? Great, this stresses everybody out, as you do when, like, giant tentacles are freaking you out. Let's chill Jeff out, although, yes, we are too stressed, I know it. What can this guy do? I don't need to scout... We need to de-stress, so let's, let's, let's de-stress Jeff again, and let's do a buffety buff. Oh. Alright, you know what? Let's de-stress everybody and just, sorry Mrs. G, you're throwing some stress on you and, and chilling out everybody else. Man, I would be in trouble for that business. Okay, we've used it all up, let's do the rest. 
And hopefully the I remember the path is to hit the holy water we require only right before we get to the old Basaru. So I actually never used holy water. Right? I know I'm way too far into the game. You think I'd have figured that out by now. Um, Alright, loot. Reward. Okay. I heard you also reward. can't get surprised on a boss battle, so... Interesting, I didn't know that. So throwing in some holy water on all these guys. What does it do? Oh, well look at that. Give some resist to a bunch of stuff. Which makes sense, right? You know, you need holy water and you're like, oh, not gonna catch the flu because I used holy water. It's like a vaccine. They should just call it vaccine water. Okay. Okay, don't quote me on that. That was terrible. So the siren, I was imagining like some sort of female like bird wailing witch creature and apparently we have like an angler fish with long hair and some fins and, and I, he's holding his shell. I'm not going to say I'm intimidated by the looks of this thing, so thank you guys for not spoiling this. If I if I die to an angler fish today, I may just have to stop Mr. G Plays Darkest Dungeon, so really I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, if I lose this one, that's it. Uh, I'm done. No more Mr. G Plays. Okay, I'm kidding, but really, I'm only half kidding. I'm not gonna. Oh! Of course. Oh, okay, he's birthing other creatures, so, alright. He's getting all excited, right? Uh oh. But he's, like, giving birth to uh, these guys, which are super annoying because they have ridiculous damage protection. Well, let's get some bleed on here. He's a fish. Let's hope he's not gonna resist it. No, he didn't. Okay. Alright, he's got two actions. Not fair. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's hit him with a solo and hope he doesn't nail us. You know, maybe I shouldn't have been using that right then, but let's we're doing it anyway. Uh, let's hit this guy as well. Ooh, that puts the other guy in row three. We're going to throw a bleed on this guy. I can't. He's where he is. All right. Going to do Mrs. G's area of attack thing. All right. Nobody needs healed. We're going to do some space tentacle. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to... We're gonna debuff this guy. Minus 35 damage. Yeah, Fred. That's what we're talking about. Song of Desire. Mm, oh, here we go. Now, well, that was a little more how I would imagine your traditional siren. Because if you were thinking Witcher 3, Southern Park, yeah, there was a little bit of siren stuff going on like that. But, you know, let's throw a mark on you. Gotta learn to use this stuff to my advantage, right? Synergize, Mr. G. Uh oh. We haven't really taken a lot of damage yet, so I probably can relax. But maybe not as cocky as I was earlier when I was like, if I die to this one, we'll do another one of these. Well, alright. Minus 40 damage. Well, I mean, mm, we're gonna do another finale anyway. But you know what? Whatever. I'll take 7 because it moves the gesture to the back. Which is not bad. Okay, we'll take it. We can do our standard attack here from Mrs. G. Mrs. G, three points. I'm sorry, I'm a little disappointed in you on that one, Mrs. G. MC, four points. What is this guy's damage protection? Apparently, it redonkulous. Oh, don't let my students know that I just used the word redonkulous. Okay, we're bleeding a little, but really, everybody's health is totally fine, so. Eh. Not even gonna waste time with a heal. We're just gonna go stabby stab here. Whatever, four. We'll get there. Oh, I didn't want that guy. I wanted this guy. Oh, the guard. He's guarded. Right. Well, we'll just calm down Mrs. G here with the old. No, we're not. We're gonna dark stab him. Because the occultist, he's still useful in that row, so why not? Throw in a hack. Alright. Just took out the guard guy. I'm probably. He's gonna respawn shortly. So let's throw another mark on this dude. Hopefully that helps. What's it do? Takes extra damage from some heroes. Well, just about here. Okay. And come on, Mrs. G. We need some more bleed on this guy, but he's really doing not a lot of damage to us. We'll throw another debuff on him just in case. Just to be safe, right? You guys are always telling me in the comments, you know, like, use your debuffs and your marks. All right, I'm learning. Um, 
know what? We're just gonna stab our way back to the front. Why not? Well, six. We'll take it. Take it. All right. You know what? What am I doing? I have bandages. Really sorry about that, Mrs. G. I'm not paying attention. Ooh, and let's get a bleed on that. Yes. Well, it looks like I won't have to cancel Mr. G plays Darkest Dungeon because we are going to be... What? Of course. It's a siren. I didn't see it coming. Can control one of your characters. And he picked my favorite. Pick Jeff. Not cool. Siren, we're not going to fight Jeff. Let's hope that if I kill this guy, Jeff comes back to us. At least we got some bleed on there because we got a miss. Jeff, please don't finale anybody and kill somebody in one hit, or I'm going to be really, really upset with you. Jeff, this is just like in class, when I tell you to do one thing, and you do the opposite thing. So if you're watching this one, Jeff, you did finale. This is G. <gasps> she has one hit point, Jeff. That was not cool. Oh, this, this needs to end now. If Mrs. G dies on this one, I'm going to be extremely upset. Oh, that was close. Guys, were you watching this one? I got to say, that was uh, one of my better ones, uh, if you're watching this one. So, give Mrs. G a snack there. Saved her life barely. Jeff uh, went treasonous there, fell for the siren. I know. She looked pretty fantastic. What are you going to do? Whoo! That was definitely one of the more entertaining boss fights that uh, I've done on Mr. G Play, so I'm glad I decided to stay awake and uh, go ahead and throw this one down on the old channel. So thanks for watching it. And I'm going to wrap it up. In time, See what's going on in town, Thief in the Night. In the end, however, the damnable failings. thing managed to get away with the surprise. The Hamlet's coffers are all the poor for having hosted the unwanted guest. Eight of my trinkets? Are you kidding me? Well, let's hope it took crummy ones. That is... Not cool. Really? I can't even tell. Um, so, alright. Okay, how are we doing here? Can we sort these guys by rank or level? So we got some fours, apparently fives. I don't know why four goes above five, because I've selected them. Okay, that makes sense. Excuse me, guys. Whoop. I get some soda water. It's carbonated. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I survived. Siren. I'm glad nobody spoiled it for me. It was a good fun, and I will catch you guys later. Mr. G out. Oh,